Hey everyone, welcome to the second digging winning streaming guide video. In this video, I will show you how you can set up your intermission screen in OBS DW. So let's get into it. This is where we left off in the previous video. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to add a new scene and we're going to call this the intermission scene. Click on OK and we're going to add another source. The source that we're going to add is our webcam. Add existing, click on webcam. There we go. A little bit of an inception going on here. My apologies for that. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the intermission overlay. So we're going to call this the intermission overlay. Click on OK and we're going to select that file. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our assets. Duh, 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 duh. And we select that file. Click on OK. And there you go. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to scale our webcam to fit into the box. As simple as that. Position it. And there you go, lock it. And then the next thing we're going to do is you've got a place here. Let me move myself. There we go. You've got here another uh, spot that you can fill. You can fill it with a cat. I don't really care. Uh, I would recommend to fill it with your display capture or your game capture in this case. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit the plus sign again. I'm clicking on the plus sign in the wrong OBS. Click on the plus sign, click on game capture. We're going to add an existing one and we click on the game capture. There we go. And then we're going to have to position it. So what we're going to have to do, it's so big because of the canvas size being different than my, um, than my screen. We're going to move this below the intermission overlay. So the overlay actually overlays and there we go. And now the next thing we want to add is the chat. Now I use something called uh, CapChat to display my chat. I will link it down below in the description. And once you go to that link, you uh, get here, the nightdev.com slash CapChat and you click on get it and you fill in your channel name. Um, the fade I always turn off. So, um, all the chat messages remain visible. Uh, show bots I also remain off, so you don't see Nightbot and all those other bots. Uh, prevent clipping I turn on, so you don't have half messages showing in the chat of theme. Uh, I personally like the dark better TTV one. Uh, the thing is with the dark better TTV one, like this one, is that it actually has a background, as you can see here in the preview. Now we already have a background in our OBS as you can see, so we don't need a background. Now for some reason they removed the better TTV one uh, without the background, but luckily uh, I actually have the URL. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a browser source. We're going to call this the chat and then we're going to have to paste the URL. Now I will paste this URL also in the description so you can use this theme that's not available anymore. Then all you have to change if you want to use the same settings as me is hit the channel name to your own channel name on Twits. Um, and then there we go. Now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to position it into this live chat. Now you can scale it, but as you guys know, when you scale it, you're going to lose quality and the font is going to get smaller as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the width. Um, I'm going to go for 480 and I'm going to go for the life, the height for, I don't know, 340. There's no way I get this right. Oh my God. Oh my God. The width is spot on. So we're going to have to play around a little bit with this. Maybe it's going to be 320 then. And it's going to be a little bit more even 300. That's a little bit too much. 310. And there we go. Our chat looks absolutely beautiful. And now before I sign off, we of course have to add the info down below in the intermission screen. I almost forgot. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to add a text source. And we do that by going here. Now we don't want to add an existing one because the sizes are different for each overlay. So it's different in the intermission screen, it's different in the poker scene, and it is different in the gaming scene. So you want to add a new one because if you change it in the existing one, if you change the properties there, it will change it in all the scenes. So you want to make sure that you create a new one. So we're going to go here, um, follower, and we call it uh, intermission. Click on OK. Once again, we're going to read it from a file and we want to select the most recent follower. So you're going to go into stream labels from Streamlabs. You go into most recent followers, select that again. And then we're going to have to change the um, custom text extent so they don't go beyond the box what it's for. So you actually want to do that for all those 
information boxes. So we're also going to have to do one for the donation. Move it. There you go. If you want to make sure that everything is aligned, basically, so everything is at the same height, like of those text sources, what you can do is you can go into the source panel, go to transform, click on edit transform, and now you can see the position. So as you can see here, the position of the donation is 10, 14. You can go into the follower one, go into transform, edit transform, and I guess I've got super good eyes because apparently that's also set to 10, 14. So next thing that's that's pure luck i'm not gonna lie we add another text uh source which is going to be the now playing um song intermission click on ok select the font human pro read from file and here i used a program called uh snip i will add the download link in the description down below once again click there and there you go, you've got your now playing song. Apparently it's playing Russ. Good taste. Custom text extends once again. And the next thing you want to add is an uptime. So also here, add a text uptime. Uh, for the uptime, I use a program called SNES folder. Go to text files and here click on uh, chrono up. Click on OK. And there you've got your uptime. And you just place that in the box too. Now, before I go to transform, edit transform, and then we change it to 10, 14. So everything's at the same height. So there you go. That's how you can set up your intermission screen. I hope you guys have liked the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.